when I moved back to Shreveport in 1991, it was sort of on uh, short notice when I left Shreveport for college. I didn't think I would ever come back. I will say that my wife, Mary Patrick, and I have been extremely happy in Shreveport, love it here. But when I came back, I came directly from the Uni University of Alabama in Birmingham, where I was doing a residency. I was also doing cardiovascular research using MRIs. I had a grant. And I thought I was going to come back, work at the medical school, stay at the medical school, and that the medical school would build into something like the University of Alabama has. When the steel industry was dying, some very wise people at the University of Alabama saw that coming and said, the next big thing is going to be education, and we ought to embrace it, and they did. And they built a fantastic center, not just a medical school, but undergraduate, graduate, allied health. It's a fantastic facility. As a matter of fact, it's the number one employer in Alabama all good paying jobs and so that was my hope when I moved back to Shreveport and actually politics got in the way then politics are still in the way now we should have a fantastic medical school not it's a great medical school I love it it does fantastic work but it has not nearly achieved its potential and I think that the reason that that has not happened is petty politics and that has got to stop we have got to be committed to education in general K through 12, all the way up through graduate level. And we've got to embrace the medical school, make it independent of politics, however we have to do that, insulate it. And actually the Un University of Alabama did it by having a foundation that became an umbrella corporation that took over everything. And so that model can work if it's allowed to. And that's what we need to do. It needs to be independent of the politics of Baton Rouge, the state, the federal government really. And the people of North Louisiana must embrace it and realize how important it is because that has a ripple effect downward to lower levels of education, meaning K through 12, because these kids then see that there are higher education opportunities for them, which end up being great jobs, and then they end up staying here. It's hard to recruit a physician to come back to Shreveport, much less Bastrop or some smaller town. I mean, it is very difficult. And your best chance is to have a local medical school where they get trained, do their residency fellow fellowship, and then they will end up staying here. Not to mention the research money that we're letting slip through our fingers. I and mean, we're this is a golden opportunity. Shreveport is uniquely situated geographically between southern Arkansas, Mississippi, and Texas to be a great regional medical center. And we need to do that, and we need to start immediately.